where you've been, what you've done, and what you have done to you. You are the part of the journey that God used. See, Cain thought his sustenance came from what he had and produced because he identified himself with possessions. He found the worth in his possessions, what he was able to produce. And so when it came time and he had that fruit, he kept the best of it for himself because he said, well, I, I, I'm the one who did it. I'm the one who planted it. I should be able to keep it. I'm still giving God something. I mean, I do believe in you, God. It's not like I'm not giving you anything. I still come to church, God. I come to church on Sundays. I'm giving you something. Okay, I don't really tithe, but I put something in the bowl. I mean, you should be glad I give you something. I did stop drinking as much. And when I talk about drinking, I'm not talking about like a glass of wine or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about drinking. But that's what we do, right? I'm giving you something, God. This is my offering. And it appeases us. And we're really doing it. We're going to give as much as appeases our guilt. But we're not doing it to appease God. But Abel said it's about you, God. And so Cain thought his sustenance came from what he had and produced, so he kept the best for himself. But Abel knew his sustenance came from God, the breath. So giving him anything less than he demands tells him that in truth, you believe that you are the God of your life. Because God, the definition of the word God, means it's above everything. Then God, who's the best, should get my best. And whatever I give my best to, that's who I truly believe is the best. 